Carrie the Rose. Hi. Hi. It's me, Carrie the One. I'm back with Ellie. That's me. Yes, this is my good friend. She's also a professional makeup artist, and she just did my brows. Um, <laughs> if you want to see me fail at an eyebrow. <laughs> so today, what we're going to do, we're getting ready to go to my favorite place in Portland. We live in Portland, Oregon. And um, my favorite place in Portland is the International Rose Test Garden. There are so many roses there, so many different kinds of roses. Roses you didn't even know could be roses. They're there and they are, in fact, roses. So <laughs> Ellie is very, very generously going to paint my face very rosy. We are going to go to the Rose Garden and see if I can't blend in with all the roses that are there. <laughs> it's a flawless plant. I don't know how it could go wrong. Um, I don't either. Because there's no point. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a great idea. Rose, rose. So, Ellie, I think the question on everybody's lips is, what is your favorite flower? Oh my god. Well, obviously roses. Roses? Roses. But, I, I don't know, I don't have a particular rose that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I love every rose equally. Every rose equally. That's democracy. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's feminism. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Roses are my number two. Number one is wisteria. I know. This is like groundbreaking news. I hope the drama channels pick this up. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I'm in um, a motion capture thing. Mm -hmm. Like Keanu Reeves is about to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spray your face. Okay. I really like wisteria because it's really pretty. It kind of looks like grapes, oh. and um, they're also like a climber. Like, they're climbing roses, but wisteria is like a climber, and it can bust through like walls and mm. stuff, and it's like a beautiful, powerful bitch. I love it. That's yeah. how I'm trying to be, you know? Mm -hmm. I love that so yeah. much. And if like I needed to change my drag name at all from Carrie the One, which like I love my name, and I don't want to change it ever, but if I needed to, like by law, I would change it to Wisteria. <laughs> I love that. When I graduated from PCC, I got my associate's degrees. I went to the nursery and I bought a Wisteria plant. And it wasn't blooming because it was June. Yeah. They bloom in like April. I brought it home and I said, Dad, can you plant this for me? And he hasn't yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was very nice of him. That was six months ago. <laughs> There's this giant wisteria in like Japan. Yeah. It's like over a hundred years old and it's enormous. Oh I want to see it. The thing she must know. Yeah. How many secrets are in those, those <laughs> leaves, those petals? Honestly. So Ellie, how did you get into makeup? Um, I, okay, I have been literally doing makeup since I was in fourth grade. Fourth grade. You know, I be watching, um, GC Star 07, oh, and Al Fowler, and like, oh my god, Queen of Blending, MUA. She was everything. <laughs> still is everything. Is, it's, okay. She didn't yeah. die. <laughs> no, she is like still out here doing shit, and like, she has been doing shit since I was so young. And mm. I remember back then, colorful eyeshadow was like hardly a thing. You had to like go. And like save up like your twenty dollars to buy like one single eyeshadow in Mac, and I would watch like sunset eyeshadow tutorials and just like fall in love. It was so good, mm -hmm. and I've just been like literally obsessed ever since. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then as I got older, there's like just more and more and more to learn about makeup and then I started getting into drag and I was like mm -hmm. this is so cool mm -hmm. I'm so into voguing right now <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good idea for a video learning how to vogue because I feel like me voguing is just like rubber chicken realness you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> I got into drag with RuPaul's Drag Race like every other person my age. Um, but I've been an artist for a while, like like drawing and painting and stuff. So I was really into performing, like in plays and stuff. 
So I was like, I can combine those two worlds, join a group of really fabulous drag queens. I mean, we're still working on that part, but <laughs> there's so many drag queens that I look up to. And it's like, not, it's not just because they're like 20 feet tall with heels. <laughs> <laughs> Who are your favorite drag queens? My favorite drag queens, um, RuPaul. Obviously. Um, Alaska, Katya, Naomi Smalls. Even though she eliminated Manila Luzon. I still can't believe that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I went to DragCon when I was 16 and Naomi Small said she liked my eyebrows. And I was like, thank you. You're not going to believe. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty crazy. We have known each other literally since we were in preschool. Since preschool, yeah. Yeah, what the hell was up with that? I don't know. Our, our parents were just like, hey. <laughs> These two vibes so hard. <laughs> when you were in preschool, did you envision yourself becoming such a beautiful woman? When I was in preschool, I was you know, making money, Rich money, getting bitches. Oh. <laughs> in preschool, as you do. No, I think I was mostly concerned with like, am I gonna miss Sesame Street today? Like, <laughs> there was always that one kid in snack time that like had the fancy. Snacks. Like like those cheeses that come in like wax right? shells. Like Fuck you. Like <laughs> Like I'm jealous. I will take it from you. Yeah. Since we're going to see the roses, we gotta do real good. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna go in with a ton of red and fuck you up. Hell yeah. But yeah. I'm and today we're using the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Mm -hmm. So yeah. We're Jeffree Star stands. What is what does he call his fans? Does he call his fans anything? You guys? We're you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All the Spanish speaking viewers are just like, why are they talking about themselves so much? <laughs> it's gonna be my Spanish teacher. Yeah. Part of why it's taken me so long to like really get into drag seriously is because there's just not that many resources for people under 21. Honestly, I've been like trying to find drag shows in Portland and it's so hard. I feel like the like honestly, you like have to go to bars and clubs and yeah, it's all in bars. I'm too poor to have a fake ID. <laughs> so, that's right. how it goes. And, and then there are queens like Aquaria that are like perfectly polished when they're, you know, 20, like before they turn 21. And it's like, where do you get the resources? <laughs> how do you do it? And right. it's probably social media. That's part of, that's, again, another reason why I'm doing this because I want to put myself out there. Yeah. So... I know you had to have watched all the drama with the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star palette. Mm. What are your thoughts on the palette? My thoughts on the palette? Um, I didn't buy it, partially <laughs> because um, I bought every other palette and I don't have money anymore. <laughs> but um, also, the, the colors weren't my thing. I, I don't know. I, feel, I felt like I had all the colors in there already. I mean, it was really cool to get a look behind the scenes at, at how it's produced. I thought that was really cool and really well done, but yeah. the palette itself was like, mm. I also think Jinx Monsoon is really inspiring because when she won her season, she wasn't good at makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Where do all y'all get wigs from? Yeah. Right. My wigs keep getting flown. All one person that's watching. It's time to step up, guys. Hello. <laughs> okay. Step up to the streets. Also, 
also can you just admire how beautiful these spectrum brushes are? Mm. Oh, they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. I go to Morphe because the Morphe store like recently opened up in Portland and and they were they're like they're sets and I'm like <laughs> I'm gonna buy them open stock and then, <laughs> and then forget which ones I have. <laughs> and then when I come back, I'll just buy the same three over and over again until I die. We'll see if I get canceled. <laughs> I'll probably end up canceling myself. Like, hey, I can't do it anymore, sorry. I need to focus on school. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Puts my face into the lamp. Oh, it's so sweet. The glow. <laughs> I've heard from reliable sources that Link is hot. <laughs> hey, yes, I am a woman. I think we've done it. You... I think you've done it. <laughs> Roses. We gotta show our beautiful buddies what's up. We gotta, we gotta show the roses and how it's done. Okay. I'll get dressed. We'll get in the car. Hell yeah. Just a couple of buds going to see some rose buds. I'm so excited. Target. Ah! <laughs> go, mama, go. I know how to drive. <laughs> says that a hoe never gets cold. I must not be a hoe because I'm freaking freezing. <laughs> it's January. <laughs> it's January, but my makeup is red hot. <laughs> Speaking of red, red light. Not even the fun kind. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to the rose garden. Ah! I'm so excited. Mm. We're here. Take a look. Ah. Isn't it gorgeous? Huh. And it's raining too. Oh, how romantic. <laughs> the colors. It's a little muted today. <laughs> His name is Royal Rosarian. <laughs> <laughs> he lets me borrow his hat sometimes. How cute. Um, wait, Carrie? Where, where are the roses? Um, there's one. <laughs> Here's one. Mm, I like the texture. It's crispy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the real roses were us and the friends we made along the way. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like if you want. It's your call. And um, yeah, calculator.